When I'm welding in here, one of the problems I got is the smoke. To get rid of the smoke, it's not healthy. I've got a high ceiling and it accumulates and doesn't go anywhere. What I've come up with to rectify the problem is an exhaust fan in the wall. And this is just an attic fan that I've got with a louver when I wired the, the building for the lights. I put a uh, circuit for a fan that's connected to the box right there. So the fan is already on all my electricals done. I'll just have to run some conduit from that box to the fan. The fan's going to mount on this wall. I got to move this lumber, but this will be approximately the top of the fan box because of the eaves outside. That'll be good enough to uh, get air out of here. I'm going to get this fan box built. I'll cut up the angle. Weld it up. Kind of tight, but we like it tight. Okay, the frame for the fan is welded. Cut these pieces out so that the fan will set in. And then I'm going to take some uh, 
eighth inch flat stock and bend it around all four sides will make some nice tabs that I can mount the fan to the frame with. I'm going over the soapstone trace lines with the grinder to aid in making the cut with the plasma cutter. I find it easier and more accurate to make the cuts if I'm following a slight curve. The plasma torch is gonna to make quick work of this. Now I'll clean it up with the grinder and check the fit. Okay, that's mounted. Uh, it's sitting on the table with the frame. That's about where I'm going to want it. Um, fits good. So I want to take some eighth inch flat bar, make a couple of tabs. We'll make four of them so I can mount that. Here's what I come up with. This is uh, my radius cutouts my, for my four corners. So here's my pieces. So I cleaned this one up. I put a little radius on it. And I'll get it a little bit better than that. But we'll just tack these in once I get that radius correct. Break that wire off before you start. Doesn't start. Every time I don't, it, it hits it and then goes back into it. Not bad. There's nothing wrong with uh, welding with flux core wire. I've got no bottle gas I need, and it gets it in there beautiful. Carriage bolt and washer. Throw a flat washer on there. Okay, we're all uh, we're all finished up here with the mount. Next thing, I've got to uh, remove the uh, lumber on the wall, build a frame for this, cut a hole in the side of the building, put the louvers on, and uh, I'll weld some tabs on each corner. 
to attach this frame to the uh, studs. And then uh, hook up the electricity. I'll take this thermostat off there. I don't need that. It's just going to be a switch deal. Um, no need to plug these holes up because this is going to be up against the plywood and it'll be sealed. Okay, the lumber's removed and now we're going to take the top of the racks off there with the metabo. With the drywall removed, it's time to open up the louver hole. This expandable weather seal will take up the gaps created by the lap siding, sealing the louvers to the wall. Other than the covers on the boxes, we're good to go. I took that uh, a piece of gray conduit there. I put a 90 in it so that I could run all my wires in the wall. That way I wouldn't have to run any conduit. That white wire is for the uh, light outside underneath my compressor shed or in the compressor shed. But the uh, switch works good, so I'm gonna try a little welding out. I'm running six beads in each window. Notice on the fan running window, the fan pulled the draft out of the wood stove so we still had cleaner air. Thanks for watching.